James Cash Money Penny's house, dude. Right here. <laughs> What's, What's up? up? Today we're in Kemmer, Wyoming. And we are at the original J.C. Penny. The OG flagship mother store. Founded in 1902. Wow, that's awesome, man. That's, I love department store and like shopping history almost as much as I like fast food store number ones. Yes. <laughs> number one. Number one, baby. All right, let's go inside and uh, check it out. Dude, so what do you think of all this old signage? It's super cool, and the fact that it's still operational, the number one store, you don't find that a lot of times. No, you don't. It usually ends up getting bulldozed or remodeled. Yeah, gone, but this is still here. Check this out, guys. We found J.C. Penney's house. James Cash Money Penney's house, dude. Right here. Unfortunately, it's not open. During the winter, we were told that it's not heated, so it gets very cold, but it's a block from the mother store so you can go to the mother store and walk right down the street and it's right here dates june 1st their labor day that's when it's open all right guys walk in the little downtown square of kimmer we found this second location of jc penny sign so just speculating this looks like a smaller location than the mother store so maybe they moved into the bigger store expanded any thoughts you guys know do you guys know the history let us know if you do leave a comment down below I don't want to slip and fall on this ice. <laughs> you know? We are in the JC Penny store and they have artifacts lining the walls. Let's check them out. <laughs> Man, look at this view from up here. It's so awesome. You can see the whole store, all the original shelving, the middle cash register island. It's all original. Pretty amazing stuff, dude. History. The money. What? And it goes all the way up here? It does. It's like a slingshot. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, there used to be two ladies or cashiers upstairs. Oh, that's so cool. Mm hmm. So, like, if you see, um, you know, the little pneumatic tubes or whatever, that was like the next thing after this. Whoa. And it used to go all the way through the store because there was different little places where you could check out and, you know. That's interesting. No moolah on the floor in the Wild West. <laughs> yeah. Shannon, what are you doing, dude? Shopping. We're not here to shop, dude. We're here to get some history lessons. <laughs> Back a <to> shop. <laughs> right here we got the original bay mirrors right here. You can come into the mirror like this. You know, check out your clothes. Check out your clothes. I love the fact that they kept all the original wood in here. I know, this is super cool. Nice wood, except for the 3M strip, you know. Hey, they don't want to ruin it, man, because those don't <laughs> ruin when you put them on. Yeah, pretty much. Super cool. We were walking around in there, and the saleswoman, she told me that there was some percentage off, got excited. Dude, you still shopping? Yeah. I found out that there's 25% off, 85% off clearance. Had to buy something at the first store. Come on, can't go without buying something. But look, the receipt, it says store number one. And she highlighted it for me because I'm going to keep this as a souvenir. Everyone was super nice in the store. We asked a little bit about the history here in Kemmer. The first store was the Golden Rule Mercantile Dry Goods Store that was not James Cash Money Penny Store. He opened the second location, which technically the first of JC Penny. That's the one that Matt showed you. Because he became so successful, he moved to the third store. And that's where we visited today. So moving on up james cash money penny j <laughs> he's moving on up in camera dude awesome man number one store <laughs> i'm like speechless because there's way more 
than what I was expecting. I was expecting some signage, some cool vintage signage on the front of the stores, what, what, yeah. you, what you see online, but all the artifacts. Yeah, all the every or- artifact is from his house yeah, or it was owned by him. Yeah, the original countertop and the original shelving in the store really awesome yeah they said that they were going to come and renovate it in the 50s 60s and they were like no nope, you can paint you can it only paint paint it i think my favorite part is when she told us about the cash system pulley system where they would do the drops up to like the security part yeah she said this town was rough and tumble rough, wild west town maybe yeah. and he didn't like you know have them keep no money cash on, the floor. on the floor no cash money on the floor penny says <laughs> <laughs> but yeah if you're in camera check out jc penny and tell them what, that you saw our video and then we sent you we signed the guest book yeah very guest cool book. man they were so nice thank you to the employees you know for yeah, embracing they even gave us this cool booklet embracing us taking photos and stuff and it's super nice and they ex- they accept that it's the number one store and they get visitors like us wanting to see goofy stuff yeah <laughs> So if you're digging our videos, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you're really digging them, you can check out our Patreon. We can help fund the finds. Yes, yes. and you could get a really cool t-shirt at our Threadless shop. Yep, all those links are down below, so check them out. And until the next number one store of a department store video like Dillard's or what's that one you shop at? Maurice's, Maurice's. But it's not a department store. Until the next number one store, baby. Well, well bye. bye. And until the next mother flagship store of another Maybe Dillard's or like, uh, what's the store you shop at? Are you? It's not a department store. Maurice's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can find some more number one department stores next video. Woo! Well, b- you could be walking a little bit like you go. Make sure I don't look fat. Dude, tell me what I need to do not to look fat. I'm filming. <laughs> Service animals only, Shay. Do like a thumbs up.